Months prior to the Assad regime launching a large-scale chemical weapons attack that saw the United States ready to unleash missile strikes against Syria, the Pentagon was internally talking about what they could do if asked about the country's huge stockpiles of deadly gas and nerve agents. After the attack outside of Damascus in August of last year that left approximately 1,400 people dead, the Syrian government said they weren't responsible, but a chorus grew from countries such as the United States, France, and Great Britain, maintaining that they were. Stalemate. To the surprise of many, Russia made the suggestion that all parties are working towards today, an international effort to destroy Syria's chemical weapons cache. There was a recognition that something was going to happen in Syria, in all likelihood, that would require us to do something with those chemical materials that were known to be there. We had no idea what scenario it would be that would play out. There were several options. I don't think we would have picked the one that we're actually implementing now if we'd been asked to, I guess, or even write down several possibilities. But a year ago, we were not in a position to do this. A year ago, we did not have the kind of capacity that was needed to go and remotely, in some other location, destroy chemical materials that are used in chemical weapons. But now the Pentagon say they are ready. This huge cargo ship, the Cape Ray, has been outfitted with two identical treatment units that can neutralize the expected 700 tons of Syrian chemical weapons in less than two months. Using a process whereby mustard gas or nerve gas is mixed with water and bleaching compounds, officials say the leftover waste will be similar to household cleaning chemicals in strength. The captain of the ship said he has not yet been told when he's leaving, but it would take them 10 days to cross the Atlantic and a further 10 days after arrival before they're ready to run their chemical destruction units. We have not gotten sail orders yet, but it's, it's my understanding that we are, our, our, our mission is to go load the, the stuff in a, in, in a port yet to be determined and then to go offshore uh, in international waters and process all of this stuff until, it, until it's safe to be uh, discharged to a reception facility. No matter how seamless this plan may sound, it is going to take longer than many had hoped, including President Obama, who has been criticized for a lack of response to the bloodshed in Syria. The technology that this ship has been outfitted with is not new, but it has never been more mobile. And that matters because this ship may well end up being the definitive American response to the use of chemical weapons in Syria. Joan Soley, BBC News, Portsmouth, Virginia.